Hi guys, this is B and A. We decided to make some new videos on some of our other collections. Um, Harry Potter is one of our favorite things, so we have been collecting quite a bit over the last few years. Um, these are four of the Harry Potter magical creatures. Um, these are really nice for collectors. They come in a really nice protective case. Their boxes are really nice. They're really detailed. They have backgrounds in there. Um, so they're a little pricey, but they're really cool for people who are really into Harry Potter. For the first one here, one of the first ones that we were able to find, um, locally we get these at Barnes and Nobles. I've never seen them anywhere else other than that, um, besides something somewhere you could buy them online like eBay, um, maybe Amazon. Um, but we bought them at Barnes and Nobles. They don't carry them a whole lot, so once they get a shipment in, we kind of um, try to get them there as quick as we can to get as many as we can. Um, so Higwood's really good detailed. Um, he's sitting on a pile of books there. He has a wand there. Um, he's got the Mortar's Map underneath there. Um, and then if you can see in the background, um, it's just got a cool stained glass background, stained window background um, from within Hogwarts and then we've got Dobby Dobby is one of our very favorite characters from the movie um, he's got his little book there and pulling out the sock from when Harry Potter freed him um, he's looks like he's in Hogwarts also um, probably in the hallway from when he was freed um, it's got the kind of cobblestone bottom um, there that he's standing on and then a tower with the fire um, and the windows in the background as well as you can see it's extremely detailed um, and really nice figure we have Buckbeak Buckbeak we looked for for quite a while before we found it um, there's a few that we knew they made but we would never actually seen um, so when we were checking the Barnes and Nobles pretty regularly um, we got there after they had just got new shipment so we were able to find the Buckbeak. Um, he's got the outside background um, by Hagrid's house. Little pumpkins um, and grass down there. If you go look at that, he's very detailed. Um, has the rest. Really nice figure. We've got Fox the Phoenix. So that's Dumbledore's Phoenix. Comes with a crystal ball and a little book and magnifying glass in the background there. He's sitting on a stand. There's a stand that he's sitting on. He's painted really nicely as well. Um, and then his background looks like it's from um, Dumbledore's office. They do make a few more of these. I think there's like seven or eight in total. Um, we're going to keep hunting for these. Like I said, the only place we've ever found them is Barnes & Nobles. They don't get them very often. Um, and they do run about $30 here. Um, so they are a little bit pricier in the collection. But, you know, if you're a Harry Potter fan, then they're worth it. Um, stay tuned. Coming up shortly for some of our other videos. We're going to keep going on the Harry Potter collections of other figures that we've got. And thanks for watching.